so we made a good bit of progress today. We got all the beds filled with topsoil, compost from the chickens and rabbits, peat moss, mushroom compost in this bed and this bed. And then I put black cow in this bed, just as a comparison. I wanted to see if there was a growing difference in the black cow and the mushroom compost. And the reason I'm concerned or want to know is because I've always liked using the mushroom compost. And uh, I have friends that say, oh no, you gotta try the black cow, it's better. Well, we're gonna see. These onions are in mushroom compost. So the, the grandbabies helped me plant onions and they helped me bust up soil clods. Poor boy helped me with the tractor getting all this stuff loaded. I still got a good, good pile of dirt left. Maybe I should make another bed or two, huh? <laughs> uh, so much for keeping it small. We harvested some collards today and that uh, Danish ball head cabbage came out today. Got a few more that's just starting to do their thing. We've got another cold snap coming in the in the nighttime temperatures of in the 30s next week so hopefully this will go on my little broccoli over there is trying to go over to seed before it headed up that's okay though we'll use those broccoli leaves yes we will i'm excited got plenty of places to plant that won't weed me to death now I still got weeds in here and I got to get all this out and cleaned up. I may put some mulch in here just for looks. Um, not sure. Thought about cleaning out the weeds and then putting some of that topsoil in here and then putting some mulch. Not sure. So if you have any thoughts on that, I'd be glad to hear them. Got to clean up my mess. I got my Mushroom compost, my peat moss, and my black cow bags strode everywhere. And then my future son-in-law, where he works, um, had some of this 333 Mighty Grow Organics that they needed to get rid of. And so he brought me eight bags of that, and I put that in here too. So it's full of nutrients, and it's supposed to rain this evening, so that'll help beat some of this down and get it in shape and... Once we get past the cold snap, we'll get it planted. Woohoo! Oh, and the next thing is to hook up drip tape. I'm going to run drip tape through all these beds. The onions the babies planted today. I've got two lines of tape. I think I'm going to try to squeeze some more onions in there. I've got quite a few sets left. So I may try to get some more in there. And then the rest will probably go in the front food bed or pots or something. Who knows? I really don't want to take up the big beds with onions, so this should work for most of it. Mm -hmm. 